What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. You and Shaq go at each other more than anybody I know. Do y'all ever get to the point of where you like, man, that like that was too much? Like, do y'all ever get to the point where y'all really pissed at each other? Because I know y'all are best of friends, but do y'all ever get to the point to where you like, yo, that was too much, or that really pissed you off, or you really pissed him off? I hope I piss him off because, <laughs> you know, because Dre, what, what he really don't understand is he's always been the best player and the biggest, baddest dude. Absolutely. And what me and Kenny try to explain to him, and you probably can explain also, like, dude, we ain't more talented than everybody we play against. There's a strategy there's a, there's, a, there's a strategy, there's some techniques and things like that that are really important. But he's never had to worry about that, Drake, because he's always been the biggest, most athletic guy in the world. Yeah. And he gets so mad when we try to talk basketball. I says, and me and Kenny argue with him all the time. He like, why don't they just get the ball to the big man, let him dominate? He's like, check. <laughs> Nobody's like you and Wilt Chamberlain. There's a strategy. Like, me and Kenny and Dre. We have to have a strategy every night, especially against whoever you're playing against. And he refuses to listen to that. So then <laughs> he goes right, well, you didn't win the championship. I said, you're right. That still don't mean you don't, that we're talking basketball strategy. And I know every time I call him out on his strategy, he gets so pissed and I love it. <laughs> but, but the thing that I try to get him to understand is, Shaq, we ain't all like you. You've always been the biggest, baddest dude. You're, you're, you're bigger, stronger, faster than everybody you play against. When I play against Bird, Mikhail, Carl Malone, those three are the best, or Kevin Garnett, like, I have to watch tape and figure out how I'm going to be successful against this dude. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, I really have to think. I says, I'm going to be 6'5 every day. When I'm playing against 6'9 Bird, I got to try to figure out how to attack him or stop him. So, Mikhail, he's seven feet tall. I just can't post a seven foot guy up. Carl Malone, Kevin Garnett. I mean, when I'm playing, and he refuses to understand that there's any strategy in basketball. <laughs> and you, as a player who, 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 who survives on smart, like you're going to have to have a game plan against a lot of guys. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons you've been successful. But he refuses to believe there's any <laughs> strategy in basketball. So uh, so it so it makes me mad. And then I so I go at him, I says, you just don't know anything about basketball. Then he gets mad, which makes me mad, last more inside. A kid is poking me under the <laughs> table, like, get him, get him. And then it, so I know when I get him. You didn't win anything. I'm like, yeah, I know, but we're talking basketball strategy. So it's fun for me mm. uh, to, 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 to rile him up, but I wish that he would sit back and say, oh, maybe there is a strategy. But we all live in our own existence. Absolutely. Like he's, like, he's never like, I need to have a strategy against Stanley Roberts. Uh, Dikembe Mutombo, Rick Smiths, Patrick Ewing. Uh, uh, like, probably the only big guy who schooled him was probably a king. Yeah. And then once yeah. he became the, the full force he became, like, he was pretty much unstoppable. But he has always been the biggest, baddest dude. So he, he, he refused to believe there's any strategy in basketball. And I just laughed my ass off because, like, yo, man, you do know there's actually a strategy in basketball, depending on who you plan against. But because of how great he was, yeah. he, he 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 doesn't care. And yeah, so <laughs> uh, I, anytime I can get his blood pressure up, I love it. When when he when he hits you with the G14 classification or you don't got ring, does that ever irk you? And what do you make of? of what people make of rings because in some cases I think you know they can be overvalued sometimes f for certain guys like certain certain guys 
you didn't really contribute to getting that ring. But you yeah. got the ring, great. I, it, In some cases, it does matter. I, I, but I don't get mad. Uh, uh, listen, and, and I'm sensitive or whatever. If people want, I'm trying to figure out just because a couple of jackasses on, on television like Skip Bayless, who I hate more than life itself, <laughs> starts talking about who won and who didn't won, a guy who never played, and now they're making a great living doing that. But what bothers me about that is basketball is not an individual sport. Absolutely. Like, to go on television and talk about just because it makes great TV, like, wait, dude, basketball is a team game. You're making a great living because it's easy for people to attack certain guys, the stars, stars. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, because I, I used to, I'll tell this, uh, I said this, nobody ever says, hey, man, Mark West, didn't win the championship. You know, uh, Kevin Johnson, two of my great teammates. Nobody ever said Dan Martin didn't win. But you get a guy like Skip Bayless on television who's got a radio show and a following. He picks shots about certain guys who were great players who didn't win the championship, and he's made a great living doing it. Mm -hmm. But my thing has always been, wait, it's, it's not it's – it's, y'all do know it's a team game, right? So – that, that's the only time I get mad when guys who've never played the game uh, talk about who hasn't won anything. And listen, and, I, and the point you said earlier, uh, a couple of seconds ago, like, I don't even get mad at guys who can't play dead who get rings. Yeah. Good for them. But I don't want guys walking around talking about the dude never won anything and like, Yo, man, you didn't even play in the game. <laughs> I mean, like, you can say to yourself, oh, I was a big part of the Warriors winning. Like, mm -hmm. uh, but if, if some guy came at me who didn't even get in the game, talking about he won the championship, I'm like, yo, man, you you really, you crossing the line right now. <laughs> and, but that's the only time. But I get offended. When guys who've never played, who are making a lot of money, talk about, well, he never won anything. Like, well, number one, you never played. Let's get that out the way. But to attack guys who are great at their sport, uh, and there's a lot of guys who are great. I mean, you look at Carl was great. John Stockton was great. Patty Young was great. They just never played on the best team. Mm -hmm. But to minimize what they did because it makes good internet, um, you know, they were on Matt Stafford before he got one this year. Wait, did Matt Stafford get better? No, he went to a better team. <laughs> he did go to a better you know, team. He went to a better team. Absolutely. I mean, he never won a playoff game in Detroit. He went to championship. Now, what? All of a sudden, he's a great, great player. I wish him nothing but the best, but he went to a great team. But, you know, that, that was a narrative when the year started. He, he's not that good. He's not that good. Now he won. Like, okay, now they go to the next guy. So it's probably going to be probably, I think Josh Allen, who's great, probably got a couple more years. It's going to be tricky on Pat Mahomes. They're going to turn against him. They've already started a turn against him. They've turned against Aaron Rodgers. So, if you get one, then you get like you get them off your back for a minute. Then like, well, he only won one, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I just kind of sit back and laugh when guys who've actually never strapped them up make money talking about who never won anything. <laughs>